Jordan's right, isn't he? We do have some master plot going on against Mom. Oh. I currently do not have any plan in place to hurt Barbara in any way. Oh, that sounds like a very clearly worded press release. What do you want from me, Jennifer? Uh, I want more than just a sound bite, Paul. I don't want you claiming that you've changed. I want the real deal. I want our family working together again and loving each other and depending on each well, other. That's what we know. Yeah, until your plans change, Paul. Jennifer, no, it's I don't what think you be... do. You get angry, but you don't act. And then you sit and you stew and you wait and you plan. Hey, look, if you're not going to listen to me, I don't you know. Why I'm really... through listening, Paul, because whatever you're going to do to mom, whatever plan you have, you better drop it. Unless you're planning on losing me, too. What are you planning to do to mom? I don't think she doesn't deserve. Oh. Wait, hold on. Oh. I'm not doing anything. No. Jennifer, Jennifer. Uh, nothing. I already told you that. But have you forgiven her completely? Did you mean it? No. I don't think I could ever completely forgive Mother for what she did to me. Not to mention Will. Or Rose. Please sit down. Hey, you wanted the truth. Please, sit down. It's hard for me to get past it, too. You really think Mother's changed? I think she wants to. There's no secret plot, okay? I don't have Carly Tanny waiting in the wings to take over Barbara's position at BRO. I don't. It's a brilliant plan. Really, it's a great plan. But it's just not happening. Make me believe you, Paul. Jennifer, I can honestly tell you that all I'm trying to do right now is just get through the day. Well, I think that we could do it together. No, wait, you you invited me. Meaning. Hi, we have uh, two pieces of chocolate decadence cake, please. Two pieces, huh? That's a lot of decadence. How are you? Still mad at him? Can't say I blame you. The cake is, um, it's sort of a celebration. I got that fellowship at Williams. You did? That's great, Lucy. Congratulations. Well, it would have been a Huge celebration with my whole family. My father, Rosanna, me, Cabot. Do me a favor, when the waitress comes back, could you please tell her to keep the change? Okay, being mad at you is one thing, but being mean is another. Um, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I never intended for you to get hurt, Lucy. You or Cabot. Or Rosanna. When I made that phone call to the Canadian authorities, I wasn't thinking about who would get hurt. And I know that this is too little too late, but I'm really sorry. And Lucy, the friendship that we had was really important to me. And I'm sorry I screwed all that up. Mr. Cake will be out in just a minute. Hello. Paul, it's me. I sent your portfolio over this morning. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thanks. Um, that, that's not what this is about. Well, I, I guess it is, kind of. Uh, do you think you would come over to Milltown? You are not going to believe what just happened. Yeah. just here. What? She said she wanted my help. Help with what? She offered me a job. Paul, she offered me a partnership. She offered you a partnership? Bizarre, right? What exactly did she say? Something about a wake-up call, wanting to start over. It's gotta be set up, right? Do you think she knows about the plans you and I had? 
The drawings that, that I made for you were out when she was here. She had to have seen them. What did you tell her about working at BRO? She wouldn't go until I uh, agreed to think about it, so I said I would. What do you think is going on? I have no idea. I'm going to find out. I didn't hear you come in. You're working awfully really late. I couldn't sleep. How about you? You okay? Yes, and I've made a decision about something. I'm glad you're here because I can share it with you. Is it about your condition? Have the symptoms gotten worse? Not today. But yesterday I had a headache that was very severe and my vision didn't come back for a long, long time. And so I realized that you were right about something. You're going to get the treatment? Absolutely not. Barbara, this isn't just your vision that we're gambling with. We could be talking about your life here. It is non-negotiable. I will not even consider treatment until after the show. No, what I'm talking about when I say that you're right is that you've been telling me that I need help to finish all this. And I do. Well, I don't mean to pressure you. This is just Accurate notes on the state of affairs right now before the show. And I just... Very sorry that it's taking me so long to realize that I do need help. You want me to find someone? I already did it. What do you mean? <laughs> I made an offer to someone with the experience and the talent needed. When did you have time to go to New York? I didn't. This designer works locally. I made an offer to Carly Tenney. Uh. I don't know what to say. Well, say congratulations. Say thank you. Say, Barbara, despite the enormous sacrifice you've just made, you have saved your company. I can't. Why not? Because I think you've made a huge mistake. Barbara wouldn't offer me this kind of amazing opportunity without, without a catch, would she? No, and this, this was an offer to be a partner. And it would be just like her to sweeten the deal with something irresistible like that, and then... And really let the axe fall. Hold on. What, what, what are you getting at? Somehow, some way, she must have found out what you and I are... Well, what we were planning. How? When Craig threatened to blow us out of the water, I convinced Barbara that that, that it wasn't true. Unless you blabbed to Rosanna. That's my sister you're talking about. Hmm? She would never sell me out. Yeah, well, she'd sell me out in a heartbeat. This guy, Jordan Sinclair, huh? he seems worried about something all worked out. Maybe he went to talk to Barbara. So, offering me this job is just part of some plot to have my head? I have been on the receiving end of Barbara's revenge before, and I do not intend to be okay, there again. hold on. We don't know that that's what this is. Whatever it is, I already pulled out of your get-back-at-mama plot, and then Mama shows up at my door. I don't want her coming after me for something I didn't even do. You got me into this, Paul. You had better find a way to get me out. Let's not jump to any conclusions, okay? We don't know why Barbara made that offer. There could be any number of explanations. Well, like what? Give me one. I don't know. But I'm gonna find out. I want Carly because she has something of, of her reputation. There's been a general acknowledgement that she's an emerging major talent. She's had one important show. Oh, come on. We don't know why careers move in the way they do. Sometimes it's luck. Sometimes it's timing. I do know this. She hasn't had a showcase to display her gifts. Where is this coming from? When I came on board here, you made it a condition of my employment that I go nowhere near the woman. Yes, well, Carly and I certainly have had our difficulties in the past, but that's all changed. How? Desperate times call for desperate measures, and I would say impending blindness is rather desperate, wouldn't you? Yes, but Carly Tenney is not the only designer with good buzz. She'll hit the ground running. She knows this company, and I would say that's an inside track. Yeah, maybe she has more of an inside track than you realize. What's that supposed to mean? I know that you love your son, and you trust Paul. <laughs> 